In this video, I'm going to introduce our recent work, Multi-Level Wavelet Decomposition Network for Interpretable Time Series Analysis. Time series analysis could be classified into two types, time domain methods and frequency domain methods. In recent years, with the booming of deep learning concepts, various types of deep neural network like recurrent neural network, long short-term memory network, convolutional neural networks are used in time series analysis and achieve surprising performance. Most of these methods fall into the category of time domain methods without leveraging frequency information of a time series. In this work, we are aiming to further explore the deep learning-based time series analysis on frequency domain and propose a wavelet-based neural network structure called Multi-Level Wavelet Decomposition Network for building frequency-aware deep learning model for time series analysis. In practice, the transformation from time domain to frequency domain is achieved by Multi-Level Wavelet Decomposition Network, which implements such transformation by a series of fully connected layers whose weight matrix are initialized using the value of wavelet filters, including low-pass filters and high-pass filters. It hierarchically decomposes a time series into high-frequency subsequences and low-frequency subsequences in a trainable way to enable the tuning to the wavelet filters. The output subsequences serve as intermediate features of the entire model and the input to the following layers. Based on the multi-level wavelet decomposition network, Two network architectures are designed for different time series analysis tasks. The residual classification flow network for time series classification and multi-frequency long short-term memory network for time series forecasting. We then highlight the unique advantage of our MWDN model, the interpretability. Since MWDN is embedded with a discrete wavelet decomposition, the output of the middle layer inherits the physical meaning of wavelet decompositions. So given a well-trained model, we quantify the importance of each middle layer to the final output of MWDN-based models by estimating the partial derivatives of final prediction to the intermediate subsequences generated by multi-level wavelet decomposition network. Taking the ECG 5 days time series data of UCR dataset for example, by visualizing the important spectra, we can easily find that there is an important peak in the high-frequency subsequence which correspond to the T-wave in the ECG time series. This result perfectly aligns with the human knowledge that the abnormality in the T-wave can indicate seriously impaired physiological functioning, and we further locate the issue in the high-frequency domain. Thanks for watching.